Hey everybody, I'm Scott with Starkey Family, fixing and rigging up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit that like and subscribe button. And make sure you got your notifications turned on. That way you get notified when I make my next video. So anyways, as you see, normally I do a beginning on the videos and whatnot. And show you how you to, you know get into these areas. But uh, I thought this was going to be something really simple, like a little clip or something like that. But, nope. The whole mechanism has actually separated from this housing in two different places. So, uh, it looks like I've got to order one of these. Now, I call it a Freightliner dealership that's open 24 hours that I normally do not use. And uh, just to get a part number and whatnot, so I can match it up. They wanted seventy-three dollars for this actual uh, this actual uh, mechanism here, and I asked him if, for the part number on there because I thought, well, I'll look it up and see if I can find one cheaper somewhere else. And they refused to give me the part number, so <laughs> that's just the way that particular dealership is. That's why I normally do not use them. But anyhow. For now, I have to actually put this back inside of here because I got a load to pick up tomorrow. In the meantime, I took some pictures. That way I can actually get online and see if I can order something here. But uh, let me show you a little bit what's actually going on here. Okay, so basically, you see this hole right here and this right here? Well, they've actually popped out and actually separated. And uh, this right here is, I had to get it, this is actually one of the pieces that actually popped out. And as you see, it's actually broken a little bit right there. Now, I am going to show you how I got this out because it's actually not very difficult. Okay, so the first thing is, see this hole right here? All you got to do is just pull this back a little bit. You may have a little bit of weather stripping material you just peel it back but there's a hole down here and uh, you'll see a little plastic tab like this right here you just get underneath of it with a screwdriver and it just pops out no big deal okay so if you're wondering what that sound is that's one of my chickens she has uh, decided to wander over here and get herself into the video a little bit <laughs> But uh, anyways, you see this right here? Yep, there's the hen. There's the uh, rooster. <laughs> anyways, that's fine. They can walk around. You see this little bolt right here? Basically what happens is, this little hole right here, you're going to see this when you look straight down inside there. Now, this was already stripped in. As you see, it just fell out. But uh, it, all I had to do was pull this back and go straight through here. Now, it was stripped out, like I said, but I was able to use an 11 30 seconds uh, socket to actually unscrew this. I don't know what the real size is. I'm just saying what actually worked on here. But basically, what happens is this right here goes on like this, okay? not very difficult mechanism but as it goes back through here it wedges itself between this door frame here right here and this so when you actually use that screw it's actually pulling itself up inside of here and then when you're loosening it up it's actually bringing it back out so it's not very difficult it just basically it's just sandwiching this little wall right here um like i said there's not really that much to be able to see so anyways i just want to tell you how i actually did get this out now we'll come back after i get a new uh exterior lock ordered for this and when i do that's when we're going to take all these little tabs off change rods and bring all this out change the tumbler all the good stuff you know <laughs> so anyhow i will see you here in a few days when i get some parts okay so 
I went to the dealership and got new parts because I couldn't find any around. So anyways, this is the new one. It does come with a locking piece for the door. I see it looks really nice. Nice and shiny. All the linkages together. This did come with the clips. Here's all three clips. Now, I have to take the tumbler, which is actually your ignition switch, out of this one. And I have to install it in this one. But I did want to show you something here. You see all these old clips? Before you throw this away, try to salvage all your old clips. Because if you have any break in your door, guess what? You'll have a spare. Okay, so this is actually important too because you don't want to screw this up. When my truck, when, the, when this is actually sitting on my truck, this is how it sits. Okay, so I want to make sure that my ignition is facing up. Otherwise, I have to put my key in upside down. So what you want to do is just take a black permanent marker and draw an arrow on the top of it. Very simple. And now we are actually going to take the tumbler out. Okay, so what we're actually going to do is here, we're going to try and take this little out. It's just a little clip. Try to anyways, aren't we? Try a different screwdriver. These things can be a pain to get out too. Okay, there we go. Do not lose this. So there's one. We just kind of pop that off. Now we got this clip down here we got to get out. Put a little bit of force on there. As you see, it's pulling out. And then your tumbler just simply falls out. Just that simple. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to take this and clean it off a little bit before I install it. So let me go ahead and clean it real quick. Okay, for this, I'm just going to use some normal rubbing alcohol. And a toothbrush. This will help sterilize it anyways, so it won't corrode or anything like that. Cleaning out all those years of spraying this tumbler and grease and oil and stuff coming out through there. Oh, I gotta be careful. My mark is just barely coming off here, so I gotta be careful. Okay, so I'm gonna let this dry for a couple minutes. Okay, so let's go ahead and put the tumbler back in. You just barely still see it, but right there's the, the mark. Here's the clip. 
Okay, so that's fastened back in there. Okay, got that clip back on. And now we got this little fastener here. That is kind of sharp. Make sure the sides are on there good. Okay. Okay, so I wanted to show you, <clears throat> this is actually how you tighten this mechanism up. Okay, you have this little bolt right here. Um, or the stud, and then you tighten this nut down. And what happens is, you flip that over. This goes on here like this. And you see the hole, you'll take the nut and you will put it on. And as you tighten this down, your door panel is trapped right here, okay, on both sides. So as you tighten this down, you see how this turns into a wedge and locks tight? That's how this actually holds together. Kind of ingenious, right? Now, I'm not happy with the nut and stud setup that was on there before. So, now this actually did not come with a nut, but what I'm actually doing is, just so it doesn't vibrate off or anything, this right here, I don't know if you can see it, but it has nylon inside of it. So, once you get it on here, then it can't back itself off because that nylon right here tightens down without even uh, destroying the threads. So, it's a much better process. Okay, so this right here is actually your door latch that goes right up here on top of your door. Now, don't worry about this right here, about trying to get everything superly lined up. After you get this together, you can actually just take this and send it down in the door if you need to. I'll show you how this pops up. All you need to do, stick a screwdriver in here. Okay, just be careful. You just pry backwards a little bit and it's just a little clip that's all it is then after you're done you just push it back in place now I was also going to tell you the reason why I told you that is it might be better to put this on last and the reasoning being is you got this plastic you got to deal with all the way through there so you can slide it straight down but this one here you can actually latch from the inside pretty simple and not only that, this is also the rod where there's nothing holding it. So you'll be fighting it the whole time trying to keep it lined up while you're, you have it attached. Sometimes it's just not worth it. Okay, so what we're going to do is, I'm going to reach in here. I'm going to start with this back rod here first. Get that in place. Ah, kicked over on me. Okay, so you're simply going to place it into the hole. That's the first thing that you want to do. Maybe. <laughs> okay, place the rod into the hole. Okay. Then what you do is, I don't know if you can see this or not, you turn it and line it up with the rod, and it just simply snaps onto the rod. Okay? So, it's like that. So basically what I'm doing is, okay, this is my other rod right here. You place it into the hole. And all you do is you turn that, and that's what latches that. That's what holds this together. And to unlatch it, you just simply pull it out. It's very simple, but that's what I just did to that one. Okay, so I want to show you what happened here. <clears throat> I got this in the door, got this clip on. 
but right here this point was just I mean maybe an eighth inch from actually fitting in there so we're gonna have to do it the hard way I went ahead and just took his back off but do you remember this little uh, clip that goes right here but well, I'm gonna have to put it on from inside the door so this right here as you see I'm taking it off I'm gonna bend it in just a little bit there just so I can reach it so anyways let's go ahead and try to put this back on let me lay this down real quick okay so we got this rod same thing we're gonna go ahead and put this up on here okay so I'm closing the clip up here so that is now latched Okay, might be able to get it now. Nope, it's wedged. might have it nope I gotta get that screw lined up in there I'll be right back okay so I'm gonna show you down in there real quick what I'm looking at in there do you see that bracket right there can you see the uh, bolt inside there let me try to move her a little bit basically what I'm trying to do is I got to get a screwdriver up in there and force that bracket forward, but I have to line the hole up in there with the, uh, the hole in that little uh, bracket. And what I'm talking about bracket, I'm meaning the black trim piece there. Then I could put a little bit of the uh, nut on. Okay, so I'm just going to tighten this up. I'm going to watch it as I tighten it up, make sure nothing looks like it's going to fall out or, you know, whatever. Everything looks fine. Okay, now it's time for me to change sockets. i got to put a deep well on. That's tight. I'm not going to force it super tight. One, I've got the nylon on there to actually hold it still. And I don't end up uh, breaking anything. Okay, right now the area that we're looking at is right here. And this is on the actual door latch. Okay. So what I wanted to tell you is this little clip right here. Okay, only goes on one direction because there's like a little notch built in on that shaft. Okay, I'm going to try and turn this so you can actually see what's going on, but I'm not sure if you can or not. I've got the key in there. 
Okay, you see how that turns around? Well, I've got to put this linkage on. But basically what's happening is this is unlocking and locking, okay? If I turn it to this direction, that is the direction that I need. So let me put the linkage on and then we are going to turn the okay, door Okay, so I'm going to show you how this goes. This is the position you can't put it on. That is the position that you can put it on, okay? So, of course, I am going to move that back a little bit. But what that's going to allow you to do is put this clip on from the actual from the actual side. If you try it in the other position, you'll be having to come upward with it. Now, I won't be able to have my camera in here to show you and do this. So, I guess you'll just have to kind of take my word on it. Okay, so I don't know how much you're going to be able to see on this, but I am going to take some grease and rub it on this area, okay? Not so much for lubrication or anything. What's gonna happen is this clip that I have, I'm gonna have to get it on there and this will help hold it in place. This clip doesn't weigh a whole lot. So I'm hoping that I can get this in here like I said, I don't know how much you can actually see. I'm trying to do this with a pair of pliers here. Hey, this is a total pain. Now let's see what happens here. Well, the grease did hold it in place, but it's still not on yet. It is close though. If I can get this slid in there. I think it just went. Oops. Try to get this camera back up in here. I don't know if you can even see that or not, but. Okay, it looks like that retain clip is still up in there. I'm going to try to force it a little bit more, make sure it's in there. <clears throat> yep, it's in there. So that's how I got that in there. Okay, but just in case I would have dropped it, you see this right here? This is magnetic. This right here telescopes out, and it's really long. If I would have dropped that down in there, I would have used one of these to actually get it out. So I would recommend if you don't have one of these, get one. Just in case. Okay, so I'm going to put this rod on down here. I don't know if you can really see it or not. <clears throat> so I'm going to take a screwdriver. Pry it back a little bit. Missed it. Okay, got it. So now you can take go around the bottom. Yeah. 
and I got the latch flipped on. Okay, so now I'm running down. I'm taking it through the hole by the window. This is the rod for the pooch button on the door lock mechanism. Try and get lined up there. And that's clipped in. So we have this back together now. I'm hoping that you can make everything out. Okay, so as for the plastic, do not take it out. You want to tuck it back down there. And as you see, it'll go right back in place. This right here, I'm going to put a little bit of duct tape over top of that. That way it'll be sealed up. Then this right here, this little latch thingy, that just snaps back in spot. I don't know what you actually call that, but uh, that's all it does. Okay, so I taped it up. Now it's time to put the panel back in. And that's very, very simple to do if you get the right direction there. Very simple. So let's go ahead and see if everything works now. Okay, so let's see if it works. And that is real tight. Locked. Open. Real nice. Well, I call this a winner. I'm Scott with Starkey Family, Fixing Rigging Up. If you haven't already, go ahead and hit your like and subscribe button. And make sure you got your notifications turned on. That way you get notified when I make my next video. And don't forget, don't let one of these door hinges ruin your day. You know, they break. Granted, this is the first one. I've got well over 1 million four hundred and it's about 14,000 uh, miles. So, they don't break real often, but when they do, they can be a pain. But... I will have to tell you, this is a nuisance. It really is. This cost $60 from the dealership. But uh, as you saw, it was it was very easy to take out because it basically was just falling apart. But installing it, you got to take your time with, with it. I looked on the video and it took me trying to get this thing in here about seven minutes. Okay, so it is a little bit of a pain to figure out, but... I did get it, but, uh, you know, that's to get this in and that little, uh, horseshoe thing, this thing here, you know, locked onto it about seven minutes, but, uh, everything else, the linkage isn't too bad. Make sure you use the grease on the, uh, little pin, like I was telling you, but, uh, hey, if you guys have got this far, thank you for watching and hopefully me making this video. If you have the same problem going on in your truck, I hope I can help you with this. Or at least give you the encouragement to say, yeah, I can do this. And save yourself a lot of money. Because the part's $60. And like I said last before, the last time I was at the dealership, it was $150 an hour. So, this right here, if you took it somewhere, like a dealership, would cost you a minimum of $210. Okay, so anyways, y'all take care. Have a great day and catch my other videos. Thanks for watching.